Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. It is hump day. Today is technically used to be sort of my arm day. Uh, I've kind of switched things up today. However, I haven't switched things up, so I don't know where I'm going with this. It's still my arm day, but I'm only doing biceps today for the arms, and then I'm going to do some Smith Machine squats. So, Michael, for the love of all that's sacred and holy, why are you back here behind the bar up against this bar? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to try something different, something that just kind of went through my brain. And I guess it's kind of going to be like a strict curl, except I'm just going to be kind of leaning against this bar here. This is something I've never done. Uh, the only thing I did today was set this up, and I tried it with just the bar just to see if I could get back here and work. So uh, I'm going to see how this works out. Basically, I'm going to take it slow, and uh, I'm not going to be going up heavy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to film these sets. I'm only doing six sets, and I doubt I'm going to go up very heavy because I'm going to try and make it very strict and slow. That means I'm probably going to try and do three seconds up and maybe three seconds down. I don't know. I've never tried that, and, and I know our three sec. I know whenever we count seconds, a lot of times it's not real seconds, but... I'm going to try and do the best I can. So uh, it's, it's just kind of to do something a little different because, you know, we do arms, you know, all our lives, and sometimes you just kind of get burnt out of doing the same thing. So if you put a little twist on things, it kind of helps. So I guess I'll classify these as doing a strict curl, and I don't know how strict I'm going to be. It's just something I'm trying. So, and I don't know how comfortable this bar is going to be, but... Again, something that I'm just trying. So the bar itself is 34 pounds. I got tens on each side. That means we got 947 pounds or about 54 pounds. I don't know. You figure it out. Those of you out there that do math. So I don't even know if this will work, but I'm gonna try. One, that was not three seconds. One. One, two, three, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, ten, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the first time I've ever really taken my time and went that slow. That is painful. Again, I don't see myself going up a whole lot heavier, maybe to about 100. I know that, and I know that those numbers are not amazing and uh, things that get the numbers of people watching and going, ooh, amazing job. But, you know, after seeing all the comments of people complaining about your form and about your reps and about your range of motion and about your this and that, you kind of want to do something different just to kind of at least show people that you are willing to do some other things. And also, normally, when I work out, I don't always, you know, uh, use body English. You know, there are, there are sets and reps and times whenever I don't. And then uh, there are times when I do. Because when you have that much weight out here, if you're going up heavy, having that much weight up here swinging... You know, it's unnatural to be solid as a rock. You know, you're not a statue. That's not good for you to be just solid as a rock. So uh, you do get some body English in there no matter what. It's good for you to move a little bit. You don't want to hold yourself back. Having said that, going lighter weight, I can see the advantage of trying to stay nice and strict and slow. So I'm going to do five more sets of those. And uh, I may film it. We may just go into it right here, live, while we're going. What do we got to lose? I don't know. 
So, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. I might can move this bar up one notch, maybe. Am I sticking with this weight? Let me put some weight on. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, having a pretty good day here, outside of, uh, you know, just the stressful stuff, you know, being a bus driver. Expecting far too much out of kids these days to try to act right. Let's throw some fives on. So, for those of you that's never tried this, maybe this is a good time for you to try. And uh, I even considered trying, you know, doing this with dumbbells. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and just do the straight bar because you can't really beat a good straight bar arm workout. So let me write down my first set. Let me put that. All right. Oh, goodness. And for those of you out there that really don't keep up with gym math, a lot of times whenever you're trying to correct us on our weights and saying, oh, it's not this, it's not that, you're really doing this and not that, you guys forget to add the bar. And uh, you can go back and look, and a lot of times, if you get those type of comments on your videos, you can go back and see that they literally forgot to take off, you know, like 15 pounds or, or, or add 15 pounds or 20 pounds or 45 pounds or 34 pounds. Or, you can go back and see that. So uh, a lot of people don't add the weight of the bar. One, two, three, one. One. One, two, three. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three. Now I realize again that this isn't super entertaining and amazing and oh my God, this, this guy's doing 200 pounds, 300 pound curls. What a freak of nature. But again, it's showing that you can do something that's kind of the same, but a little bit different to kind of throw uh, things for a, a little bit of a surprise to your body and uh, something you're not used to, and uh, definitely not used to doing this, but I can tell right now that it's pretty interesting, uh, even at this light weight. So, anyway, I'm sure you don't wanna see me do four more sets of this. I, I just wanted to kinda show you what I'm doing today. And uh, yeah, and I don't mind trying to do things a little different. And I don't mind trying to uh, appease the form and range of motion and all that police out there. I don't mind trying to cater to you a little bit. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you can try it. Let me know. See what you think. And I know this is basically like leaning against a wall or a pole or something like that. 
But for me, it's completely new. I don't do this. So anyway, I wanted to share it with you. I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, I'm actually going to do one clip of the Smith Machine squats that I'm doing. Why? Well, because I have the safety set down pretty low and I feel like I'm going parallel, if not a little bit more, but at least parallel. And I'm keeping a straight, uh, more narrow stance uh, than I would if I was doing maybe free weight squats. And uh, so we're just taking it nice and slow. I've only got 127 here. The bar and the carriage are 57. 25s and 10s, that's 127. And uh, I am a little short of breath because I'm already on like my fourth set. But I thought that I would just throw this in here and uh, kind of for my reference and for yours uh, to show that you can kind of uh, switch things up and experiment with some things and uh, have some fun today along with the uh, different bicep workout that I did. So the, th the, the theme kind of today is the same but different. So enjoy this quick little clip that we're going to do of some Smith Machine squats. like share subscribe comment to the channel uh, leave the good comments guys it, it helps the community it helps me and uh, also leave uh, stuff you're doing let me know what you're doing in the comments as well because it inspires me and uh, it gives me uh, the chance to you know encourage you to do better and to, and to keep keep going on your journey whatever it is that you're doing so uh, yeah anyway guys hope you enjoy get up get out your red do it to it, and we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown. Get up, get out, get around, and do it to it.